hello students today we are going to see the next lesson that is the geometrical construction and here this lesson is starting with this picture and in this picture the person is there he is a mason and he is doing some measurements by using his instrument so regarding to this here some questions are given when constructing a building what is the method used method used to make sure that wall is exactly upright this is upright it is straight or it is bent how we can decide by using this instrument okay and this instrument the mason he is using to decide that the wall is straight otherwise it is little bit bent so the in this picture the mason is there he is using this instrument and what he is doing he is checking that the wall is straight or not and what does mason in the picture have in his hand so <coughs> actually actually in marathi actually in marathi we can say to it walamba and in english it is called as a pendulum and this is used for the leveling to check the leveling of the wall now the next question is the what do you think in his per, uh, in is his purpose for using it for to check the leveling is it answer and the next question is have you look a lump post on the road side how do they stand so lamp posts are there they are perpendicular to the road actually the lamp posts are there they are perpendicular to the road and in this lesson we are going to see in the geometry construction inside we are going to see to draw the how to draw the perpendicular bisector and by using the instrument first by using a set square second by using a protractor and at third by using a compass these three methods are there that we are going to study one by one to draw the perpendicular for the given line so here it is some information is given try this it is given here in the figure here here it is the figure line l this is line l and this is line n intersect at point m here it is point m major every angle form at the point m so from that point m we have to measure the angle by using the protractor if you see here this angles major is equal to 90 degree if you check it here here it is also 90 degree this angles major is also 90 degree and the major of this angle is also how much 90 degree if such a situation is there then we can say that line n is perpendicular on line l and it is denoted by the in this way line l this is line l and this is a sign of perpendicular this is perpendicular on line l so it is its writing is and its reading is line l is perpendicular for this we are saying that perpendicular on line l and this is the symbol of the perpendicular so it is read as line l is perpendicular to the line here now we will see how to draw the perpendicular to the segment pq by using a protractor so now first of all we will see to draw a perpendicular bisector for a given line to draw a perpendicular bisector sector to a given line given line first that is using sorry using set square okay so for that first of all we'll draw line in our textbook it is given that this is a line pq this is line p 
and this is this is line PQ. And for this line, we have to draw the perpendicular from this point R. So here I took one point that is the point R, and from this point R, I will draw the perpendicular. So this is this instrument is there. It is present in your compass box, and it is called as a set square. And set square has the here it is the right angle. Here it is the right angle, and this point is there that we have to keep on the point where we are going to draw the perpendicular. So I just kept it here on this point R. My this corner of this set square I kept it here. Okay, and from this corner you just draw the line which is passing from R, and this line is perpendicular to the PQ. This line is there. If this is point S, yes, and this is the perpendicular. to the line pq from point r and rs is perpendicular on the pq and it is it is written as how to write seg or line line yes r line yes r is perpendicular on this is the sign upright t you have to draw perpendicular on line p q okay so it is very simple construction that we are doing by using the set square same construction is there but we are by using the another that is the protractor we will see now so using to draw a perpendicular bisector to a given line using what that is the protractor so by using protractor we will see how to draw the perpendicular bisector for that also i will draw here one line and the li name of the line which is given in our textbook is the rs now i will use the pen actually you are going to use the pencil but for clear image i will use the pen for that so here it is line p rs here i will draw the rs now for rs i have to draw the perpendicular from point m and now i am going to use the protractor so this is the protractor okay as you know that protractor has a line which is perpendicular on this base line this is the line which joins the uh, base line of this protractor so protractor has both side starting with the here it is starting with the 0 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 till 180 it is there and if you see here here also 0 to 180 numbers are there written in the circular order and these numbers are there that we are going to use while drawing the uh, perpendicular actually this how to use this i will explain you in the next class Uh, means which zero we have to use but now today you are using only the 90 degree because you know that perpendicular means how much 90 degree so the point the line which is coming from the 90s angle this and this is the horizontal line joins at this point and this point is there we have to exactly attach with this uh, edges on this m if you see here this line is exactly joining to the rs and the perpendicular line midpoint point is there it is on the m and now this 90 degree is there just mark it here okay and join this and it is perpendicular on this and this point is called as a m and here we seen that how to draw the perpendicular to the line by using a protractor that we studied now here if you under if you see here here is it is also angle is how much it is there 90 degree if you see means this line is perpendicular and here it is also 90 degree we are we already taken and how to write this line m n line m n is perpendicular on this is a sign of perpendicular on line r s line r s after this we will see how to draw the perpendicular to the line given line but using which compass okay by using compass now the last how to draw the perpendicular bisector to the given line but using which compass 
so for that also first of all i will draw one line this is the line and the name of the line is the m n m n is the line this line is m n okay and here i will take the two points a b okay so from the for this a b is i have to draw the perpendicular bisector for that i took here compass here which construction i told you we have to do this construction with the compass so here it is the compass as you know that i told you that pencil and the metal point of this compass must be at one level okay for that you have to hold it in this way and you will notice that if we, they are in one level then your construction is correct otherwise it is wrong so for that you have to take the compass this metal point is there this metal point we have to keep on a okay and then we have to take more than half distance in your compass so if you see here this is the half distance if you are taking less than half then it is very short and more than half distance we have to take and by using this distance you have to draw the arc above the line in this way okay same without changing the distance this metal point is there you just keep on the point b and draw the arc which intersect the first arc okay and then you get here point this is the point this is point suppose this point is the t okay and now you have to draw the line which is passing from here and it joins the line below the you can do the same construction below the line also so for this what we have to do suppose we'll do some corrections inside it first of all we have to decide we have to take the point and from that point we have to draw the perpendicular bisector so for that i took here point k okay and by from this point k we will take the equal distance both side suppose this is point here and that point is b so next same constructions we have to do more than half distance we have to take in your compass okay and we have to draw the arc from this a and that point we have to take as a b point this pencil is mark we have to refer huh? okay and then this is the point that we got it here and then we have to draw join the k and t so it is the perpendicular kt is perpendicular on the if you see if you measure the distance uh, measure the angle you will notice that angle t k b and t k a both angles major is equals to how much 90 degree and therefore line kt is perpendicular on line a b so in this way we are doing the construction we are do drawing the perpendicular first by using set square for that we use the set square we drawn the line and one point we had taken and then just keep it here in this way the margin of this set square down sides margin you just adjust with this line and another on this point you take and draw the line you will get the construction perpendicular on the line by using protractor you just adjust this draw the line take point adjust the point with this 90 degrees line and drop take a point and draw the line you will get the perpendicular of that particular line and for the compass you just take the point first of all and take the equal distance in both side of the line take some distance sufficient distance and uh, draw the arc both side of the point and then afterwards take more than half distance in your compass and you just uh, draw the arcs above the line you will get the perpendicular for the line so this is the way for drawing the drawing the const uh, perpendicular to the given line by using different geometrical instrument okay so in this way today we study to draw the perpendicular to the given line by using a set square just i told you then afterwards we check draw the perpendicular to the line by using the protractor and by using the compass so today you are going to do the practice of this three uh, construction take help of textbook also and then use watch video and then complete it okay so today we are going to stop here only
ओके थैंक यू एंड हैव अ गुड डे